from a design standard. Um, the gas seal is achieved from the front ferrule. So, um, you know, when the nut is pulled up one and a quarter turns from finger tight, which is the installation procedure, the front ferrule is going to do, um, it's called burnishing and polishing on the body bevel here and the tubing here, which is going to create our gas seal. Um, so that's obviously important because we don't want to have any leaks. So that's where the actual sealing is being done. So now the importance and the benefit of having a two ferrule design is that the other uh, characteristics, the tube grip and vibration resistance are going to be achieved in the back ferrule. So if you'll notice, there's a little notch that is cut out of the uh, inside of that back ferrule. So when the nut is pulled up one and a quarter turns, that back ferrule is going to do what is called hinging and colleting. And so you can see that the colleting region is highlighted here. And so what that basically is, is going to be enhanced or um, increased surface to surface contact with the back ferrule and the tubing. So that's important because that is going to give us, um, you know, way better tube grip. So we're going to have more direct contact and gripping support between the um, the fitting and the tubing. So there won't be any blowouts. And then also, um, you know, since there is vibration all over the place constantly, um, the vibration of the tubing is going to be absorbed by the back ferrule. Um, and not compromise the gas seal, so it isolates, um, you know, the stress risers that can be formed um, on the on the front ferrule. So front ferrule is going to do the gas seal. Back ferrule is through the hinging and colleting is going to perform tube grip and vibration resistance.